Welcome folks. Our next task is to draw a house in two-point perspective. We're going to have a look at this one right here. Let me show you how. Start with a straight line across the middle of your page and add a dot at each end. These will be your vanishing points. We have two of them for this two-point perspective task. Now drop in a vertical line and this will be the middle of your drawing and connect that line to those vanishing points that you drew before. One line from each dot to the top and bottom of your center line. And then add in the edges which will become the sides of your house. Think about the size and shape that a house would be. Now the ridge or the roof will come up from the center of one side, so find that center of one, one face of your house. Take a line up and bring your lines up to the point for the ridge of our house. That end of the house will go up to a point and we can start building our roof from the triangle that you now have, noticing that the middle of the triangle comes up from the middle of that face on that side of our house. With that triangle, we can use the angle and take it to the other edge of our roof and make sure that that side is parallel with the one that we've just drawn. With our roof done, we can add some windows and some doors. So we're gonna take one face of our house, start at a vanishing point and start thinking about where the tops of our doors and windows would be and then drop some lines down from those. Of course, the tops of windows and doors are the same height, usually on houses, so keep your doors and windows at the same height on each side. Take these lines around to the other side of your drawing as well by putting your ruler on that center line and marking it and then taking it off to the other side as well. And this will keep both faces of your house looking symmetrical, equal, even, like they're on the same building. Once you're happy with that shape, we can go over the edge of the house with bold lines. Remember, if you're not happy with it, don't go over it. Use these bold lines for the lines that you are completely satisfied with and be accurate at this time. Keep using those vanishing points. Make sure your ruler goes through those points as you draw these lines. And do the same with all of your windows. Make sure that the things you're happy with are now the things that stand out on your drawing, especially now that we've got other lines on here, other construction lines that we don't really want people to see. Those ones are just there to guide and build our drawing, but now we want people to see these parts of our drawing. And don't stop there, keep going. Think about what a house would really look like. A window and a door isn't just a rectangle, it has a frame around the edge. And use that knowledge to build a frame into each thing that you've just drawn around your windows and doors. And keep those lines going to the vanishing point. Don't just draw inside each box. Remember that all of your lines go to the vanishing point. If your windows are on the right side of your house, take the lines to the right side vanishing point. And if your windows are on the left side of your house, take those lines to the vanishing point on the left hand side so that you keep everything in the right direction looking great. I thought I'd add a path to my doorway, give my house a little bit of a setting. So to do this path, which is on the right side of my house, take the lines through the left hand vanishing point, switch them over so that they come from the left vanishing point from the edges of the door outwards. And this will make it look like your path leads up to your door from a distance away. And it will make it feel like you could walk along it and go up to that front door. I want my path to be made out of slabs, paving slabs laid down on the driveway there. But I want them all to be a little bit off center. So I'm going to use this technique of having lines going across my path to the vanishing point, but then just staggered as they come back in the other way using sets of lines that don't quite line up all the way along. Think about what you'd like to add next. Would you like to have some sort of window letterbox on your door, maybe a door handle? And think about what goes in your windows. What style of windows would you like to have on your house? Do you want to have things that go in the windows, a cross shape perhaps? Do you want them big open spaces? You decide. If you want to add curtains, give it a go. Uh, but think about what you'd like to create and have a go at doing that.
And if you're getting on okay, if this is going all right for you, maybe add something like a garage. I'm going to add this garage heading outwards from the back edge of my house. I'm going to tuck it in around the back there. But you could try doing it sticking out in an L shape from the other side of the house. It could come forwards perhaps, more difficult of course, but you're welcome to try if you'd like to. So my garage is going to have lots of lines across its garage door, like it's one of those roller garage doors that rolls up. That's what I have actually. Uh, but you're welcome to do bigger panels on your door. You could make it as a single solid door or perhaps even opening doors that open outwards. Or you could have wooden lines coming down and have a big wooden garage door that sometimes you see on houses. Up to you, of course. Be as creative as you wish. So when we're drawing things like this, don't worry too much about making it feel like it's a real house. You could be creative, go a little bit different, and try and have something that you might like in a house. Maybe you could design something cool that you'd like to move into one day. Your house doesn't have to look like this. You could start here, maybe have another go, draw something a bit different. You could even search for this online and see what happens, see what comes up, see what you fancy drawing, and have a go at that next. I'm gonna finish this one off with a chimney. Three lines coming up from my roof. I'm gonna put it on the back of my roof because I've already drawn the front face. This way, it can tuck in behind there. Three lines coming up. One side goes off to the right vanishing point, the other side goes off to the left vanishing point, and then we're complete on our house. And this is task done for today. So hopefully your house looks something like this, but of course, feel free to be creative and make yours a little bit different. And as always, I'd love to see what you've come up with. So thanks for joining me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you on the next one.